This is a presentation about the Panoramic P1000 from 3D HisTech, filmed at Poundbury Cancer Institute. To load a slide, we just push this button on the front. When it turns green, we open up the sliding door. The slides go into a Sakura rack, and in this case they go in very easily. Notice how the light comes on as blue, showing it's a new rack. To close the door, slide it closed and push the button again. The scanner will check during the rack loading if anything moved. There's no slide sticking out. This is what we're looking at right now. And it will also look at the blue new racks and check where the slides are. You see how the blue lights turn white when the slides are counted. This way the scanner knows exactly how many slides are in the system and in what racks. To scan, press the Add Rack button so the rack is added to the scan queue. Press play to start scanning. The scanner will go to the first slide of the first rack in the queue. It will take the slide to preview. The preview is in two parts. The first is specimen and the second is label area. The system will recognise the tissue. It will apply the default scan profile, show you in red the areas that will be scanned, and at the same time the slide is taken to the stage, which can hold two normal slides or one mega slide. In this case it was put in the right hand side position, and we used the 20 times objective to get the 40 times equivalent output. Currently we're creating the focus map and you can see the focus is measured and we do an exposure time calculation and after that we start scanning you can see on the insert how we scan it's a very fast process using a flash lamp so the stage moves continuously between the different shots once the scanning is completed there is a cleanup and optional conversion and the slide is taken out now if more than one slide is scanned, then the next slide is taken from the rack, which we see in this video. You see highlights on the left showing that it's currently scanning, while in the top right it's grabbing the next slide. This is where we gain overall throughput's advantage because we can move and preview the slides separately from scanning. Once the preview is done, we just wait for the scan to finish. We can use mega slides in the system. We use the same Sakura racks with an insert, and you can see the mega slides are placed in the middle of the stage. The scanning procedure is the same. You can mix and match mega slides or mega racks with normal racks. There is no loss of time at all. Here you can see the objective change. We're going from a real 40 times objective to a real 20 times objective. They are both plan apochromat lenses from Zeiss, the highest numerical aperture to give you amazing image quality. You can see in the rack on the left and the image on the right on the monitor that the magazine status of the LEDs that are reflected are identical in the user interface, which is on the right. It's a very simple interface. You can use a touchscreen for that. What we're seeing now is the barcode recognition. We can recognise 1D and 2D barcodes. We can input the file name manually here, or we can put it on the rack level and just go to the next slide. So it's very quick. These slides were previewed previously, which is another amazing function. We can add the racks in any order, so I'm just adding the racks as I go along. And I'm just going to add all the racks. And I'm going to create B6 to be the stats rack. So I'm going to click on B6, which is currently 7th in the queue. And I'm going to click stat, so it will become 1st in the queue. OK, so now we can remove racks randomly from this queue and it's totally safe to do so.
we can set up an SMTP server connection where we can create users with their email addresses and then send them different trigger events such as the scanning is finished or the less magazine is being scanned or if there's an error. So we can choose which user gets which kind of message. This is a feedback to a user real time. So if you double click on the magazine view and then in the slide we double click again you can see the profile that matches to that slide. So once again these slides were previewed previously and if you agree with these settings you can keep them and keep going. If not you can modify these settings and apply them as temporary profiles or actually modify the original profile if you want to. But normally we just modify these as temporary changes applying it to that one slide. So we can change colour correction and other options as well. We also have settings cards which show how we translate or input slide name, profile and folder information. This can all be done manually or with barcodes or with server-side barcode passing. You can also select where the slides go as outputs for these settings cards and you can alter the different resolutions for these outputs. Here are some still images of the system showing you some more of the detail. And when the slides or the scanning has finished, they will turn green and all of the racks that are green can be removed as they have all been scanned. Thank you for your time.